Thank you, Sambal Su. Peace with you, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm Kachang Kevin, and this is the Daily Nugget Show. One of my favorite shows is the Word on Fire show. In episode 31, Bishop Robert Barron talks to host Brendan Vaught about five ways to pray better today. Today, we learn more about Lexio Divina, and I suggest you head to www.wordonfireshow.com to check out the full show. But first, our Bible reflection for today is taken from St. Paul's second letter to Timothy, chapter 3, verse 16. All Scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. Now, here's a way to combine Scripture with prayer. It's called Lexio Divina, which means divine reading. In De Verbum, the Second Vatican Council's dogmatic constitution on divine revelation, it says, The Church has always venerated the divine scriptures in the same way as she venerates the body of the Lord. Saint Jerome said that ignorance of the scriptures is ignorance of Christ. Pope Benedict XVI strongly recommended the ancient tradition of Lexio Divina, referencing paragraph 25 in De Verbum, saying, The diligent reading of sacred scripture, accompanied by prayer, brings about that intimate dialogue in which the person reading hears God who is speaking, and in praying, responds to Him with trusting openness of heart. There's four steps in Lexio Divina, and Bishop Robert Barron will walk us through it. The first one, Lexio, simply Latin for to read. Now, this means reading the scripture. No, take a, a section, read it slowly, with deep spiritual attention, looking at the words, mulling it over. Attentive reading is the first step. Second step is called meditatio in Latin, meditation. What this means practically often is go back to maybe a phrase in your reading that jumped out at you or that puzzled you or that made you think twice. Stay with it. Chew on it. Third step is oratio, which just means to pray. Now, what's oratio? Well, now that you've read and you've meditated, now speak to God is tell them what's on your mind, what's on your heart. What has this scripture passage done to you, for you? What questions do you have about it? And then final step is contemplatio, contemplation. Now it's time to listen, to listen to what God is going to say to you. This is a much more passive, receptive stance. Now I'm going to listen to what God uh, is telling me in answer to my prayer. You can listen to the full episode, Five Ways to Pray Better Today, by Bishop Robert Barron at www.wordonfireshow.com. We've also posted the link on our Facebook page, that's facebook.com slash redeemedforworship. Let's end with a prayer of St. Anselm of Canterbury. Heavenly Father, teach me to seek you, and reveal yourself to me as I seek. For unless you instruct me, I cannot seek you. And unless you reveal yourself, I cannot find you. Let me seek you in desiring you. Let me desire you in seeking you. Let me find you in loving you. Let me love you in finding you. Amen. I'm Kachang Kevin. Subscribe to The Daily Nugget Show at www.redeemforworship.com. Also connect to us on Facebook. This Daily Nugget Show is brought to you by Redeemed for Worship. Redeemed for Worship using Powtoon.